welcome to Iki Now with Melly Mo. I'm Melissa. Today I have a Disney merch haul video for you guys, so keep watching. Alrighty guys, so like I said in the intro, today's video is all about Disney merch. These are items that I picked up during my most recent trip to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. I went during the month of April. Um, so I literally just got back about two weeks ago. We can have a go. So let's get started. I am going to start with the smaller bag. These are all pins. Of course, you know, I am an avid pin collector, so I had to get some pins, right? So, okay. Uh, the first pin that I have here, actually a friend of mine, uh, Laura. Hi, Laura. <laughs> she had picked this up for me because I wasn't sure if by the time I actually got to Florida, if they were still going to have this pin. But this pin is from the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. This is a limited release pin and it features Beauty and the Beast. Now, Beauty and the Beast is my main pin collection. Um, so, of course, you know, I had to make sure that I got my hands on this. I feel like Epcot Flower and Garden Festival is uh, so pretty. I mean, when you go there, you have all these beautiful like topiaries and just like beautiful statues uh, or figurines <laughs> made out of like flowers and greenery and everything just looks so beautiful. Everything screams spring. Um, but anyway, I am kind of rambling. <laughs> but that is why this pin, which I'm going to show you close ups in just a second, um, looks like just like the topiaries that you would find at Epcot. Beautiful pin. And it looks like it is a pin on pin design so pretty it is limited release and then on the back it does have the logo for the flower and garden festival 2024 and it also has that uh new like mickey head on the back that looks like it's made out of rhinestones it's like disney's new thing to make sure that you know you are getting authentic disney pins just because for years we've had this issue of like counterfeit or fake pins right so this is a way that a disney kind of develop for you to know you're getting the real thing right so the retail price for this pin was $17.99 and even the backer card is so cute very on theme with the festival Alrighty, and continuing here, the next pin I got is the newest Disney Visa Rewards pin. This is for 2024, of course, and it features Dumbo. It is absolutely adorable. I love that the backing card or backer card actually goes really nicely with the pin. Again, it's a limited release pin, retail price $17.99. And again, this is for the Disney Visa card holders. I've been a Disney Visa card holder for about seven, eight years at this point, maybe. No, lot. I think I've been a Visa card holder for about four or five years, but regardless, ever since I became a Visa card holder, I've been wanting to collect these pins just because I think they are so cute. Alrighty, so I have two more pins to show you. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, the next pin, I believe this is a pin that was released for Valentine's Day. It says Celebrate You Today and it features Gaston. It's a limited release pin, retail price $17.99. does have a dangling element on here. And just like I mentioned earlier, Beauty and the Beast is my main Disney pin collection. So of course I had to get this pin. And then the other pin that I got is a pin that actually celebrates the 25th anniversary of Test Track in Epcot. Now the retail price Price for this pin was $19.99. It is a limited edition pin. Um, I forget uh, what the edition size is, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look. It is limited edition of, I believe it says 3000 on the back. The writing is like really little on the back of the pin. And I'm going to show you close-ups of both of these pins in just a minute. And I really like that this pin is also another one of those pin-on-pin -pin designs. It has the actual um, card from Test Track 
fried on top of course which is kind of like raised um because of again that uh, pin and pin design super super cute 25th anniversary um this is uh something that it has been sponsored i guess uh by chevrolet for years i believe they are going to redo the ride if i'm not mistaken then again there are so many rides are getting redone or refurbished or revamped so super cool to get that i again i'm not necessarily a test track pin collector or anything but once in a while when they have these like special anniversary pins for these iconic rides you just have to get one of those pins as a really nice like memory or like memento and then of course this is the gaston pin again it's a limited release pin i love the little dangling element super cute and of course on valentine's day who else would gaston be celebrating other than himself right So now that we're done with like the pins, um, let's move on to some of the other items. Now these are items that I picked up at Disney's Character Warehouse. Now this is a Disney's official outlet and they have two in Orlando. They have one at the uh, Vineland Outlets and another one on International Drive. We prefer the one at the Vineland Outlets just because it's bigger and I feel like you have more variety there. So we prefer going to that one. So these are a couple things that I got there which I think were pretty good deals. So um, the first thing I got is this reversible table runner, which is super cute, retail price $49.99. But again, because it is the outlet, it was just $19.99, which I believe it's a steal. Now, the one thing about the character warehouse is that you find items that were either from the last season, the previous merch season over at the parks, but you can also find some overstock items from things that they currently do have at the parks but they have too much of. So you could potentially get something that is at a fraction of the price of something that you actually see at the parks full price. So if you do have access to a car when you go to Disney in Orlando, or if you can get like an Uber ride to the character warehouse, it's definitely worth checking out but <laughs> going back to this so these are the two possible ways you can display the runner because it is reversible and i think it's so cute it does have some colors that could potentially be used for christmas but at the same time i think that the coloring on it could be used all year round so that's why i got it let me show you close-ups Alrighty, and then this is the last item, which again, I got a character warehouse. Now, this is a steal. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, during Christmas, uh, Disney, of course, had, you know, different uh, type of like uh, wearables that they had, you know, different shirts and um, spirit jerseys and sweaters and whatnot. And this was one of them, which I was so tempted to get full price. It's kind of like a spirit jersey, like knitted sweater super super cute i was again so tempted to get this when we went to disney world uh last time during the christmas season absolutely beautiful so nicely made and warm and again it's supposed to be big so the retail price for this sweater originally was $99.99 but right now or at least of the time I went uh, two weeks ago to the character warehouse the price was $29.99 so we're talking $70 off so of course I had to get this because I really really wanted this like I said I consider paying full price for this when it came out but I am so glad that I waited because $29.99 rather than $100. It is a steal. All 
Alrighty, so the final item that I actually wanted to show you is this super cool figment popcorn bucket. This was released for the Festival of the Arts earlier this year. Now, this was actually a gift from our friends Jody and Laura to my husband because he really wanted this popcorn bucket. So when we went to uh, Florida last month and we met up with them, they gave us this. This is such a neat popcorn bucket, you guys. And if I remember correctly, when I was reading about this, you could only get this through mobile order and these were $30 and it did come with some of the rainbow uh, like candy popcorn and it lights up you guys. Let me see if I can turn off the light here so I can show you. This is absolutely adorable. And that's it you guys let me know in the comments down below what you thought about today's haul let me know which item was your favorite as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me bye